What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry I got your hopes up thinking that we're gonna be able to do that front bumper on the Raptor line truck today, but unfortunately I haven't got my steel in yet, so we are going to be tackling the interior because my carpet kit showed up. So that's what we gotta do is strip the entire seats out, the whole back panels, everything, get the interior basically stripped down, get ready for this carpet and see if this stuff fits. So I ordered this from Auto Custom Carpets. I bought it on eBay, it was like 150 bucks. I'll have it linked if you guys wanna check this out. This should be pretty close to the factory gray color, maybe a little bit darker, which I'm perfectly okay with. But either way, let's open this up, get this carpet out, and then, like I said, we gotta pull the seats out. These back panels are just kinda flopped over, so we're gonna pull those actually all the way out, clean them up while they're out, and then just give us enough room inside the truck to lay this carpet out. So there's the carpet guys. This stuff is, should be formed at least to fit the truck. So you can see it's humped up in the middle. And then this back, I think kind of goes something like that. So we'll see how it fits. And they also give you the pieces for the covers in the back for the little storage panel. So we can replace the carpet on that so it matches perfect. So let's get this interior all ripped out and see how this stuff fits. All right guys, the interior's all stripped down, so I gave it a quick vacuum, quick wipe to get all the real nasty dirt and dust out of here. Either way, we are ready to go for the carpet, so let's set it in and see if it actually fits. I have a feeling it's gonna fit, but a lot of the aftermarket stuff just really doesn't fit like factory, so we will see. One thing I just realized, this carpet doesn't have the cutout for really anything, so it doesn't have the cutout for the shifters, and I'm not gonna be able to get the carpet even somewhat in place. So I'm gonna have to pull the shifters out and then we'll, we'll get the carpet and then we can trim around the shifters there. Well, we got the carpet in. This stuff is going to be a little bit more work than I thought it was gonna be. It's pretty much just a rough cut. You can see it's way too wide. Obviously, I can't even get it under the dash because it's so long, but it looks like it should fit once, if I can cut this right and not too short or you know in the wrong spot or whatever, I think we get it to fit pretty good. So 
I think what I'm gonna do is start with the back since it's got this big ledge right up here and it is formed to this ledge. So I'm going to, I think, start maybe with these sides, getting these trimmed down and the back and get this, start with the back and just work my way forward. There we go boys, carpet is in. For the most part, looking really good. There's only one section right here that's kinda, I could not get tight. So, I don't know, it is what it is. It's uh, aftermarket carpet. So, other than that, it fits really good. Tucked up underneath. Um, I actually got this lined up and cut out perfect. It fits right underneath the uh, boot, the shifter boot. So, that looks factory. The next thing we gotta really cover is these back panels that sit there those ones right there so we'll just have to uh 
take the staples out, pull that carpet off, and staple the new stuff on. So that shouldn't be a big deal. So all in all, really, really happy with how this stuff fits, actually. Um, I'll just have to cut holes for the seats here, here, the seat belts, and the, I guess the seat belts in the back too. But other than that, we should be pretty much good to go for the carpet. All right, guys, got those covers done. So turned out pretty good. So I think what I need to do really is pull these little trim pieces back out from here. That's kind of holding the carpet down and kind of adjust this carpet, pull it tighter in between the two and see if I can get it a little bit better. It was just kind of a make sure it fits. So I'm going to pull these back out. Just kind of stretch this carpet out and see if I can get it to look better. Well, I messed with it a little bit. I think I got it a little bit better. So I'm gonna call that good for now and see how it looks once we get all the panels in and it should, you know, at least hide all the edges and make it look better. So either way, now I want to get some of this trim ready for paint. So when the guy, the guy sprayed the floor with something and got black all over all these panels, these here. So I'm gonna get all this scuffed up and I'm gonna be using the same plastic paint right here the sem color coat this is the graphite color and this is actually a very very close match to the factory gray so that'll be linked in the description if you want to check that out so i want to get all this stuff ready and get it ready for paint get this painted
All right guys, got all this back done. Seats, everything looking really good. You can see the carpet looks a lot better with having that trim in there covering up the all the edges. So next thing we gotta do is figure these out. So on the bottom of these rails, there's these clips. You can see on there, broken. One there, broken. And then that one there is how it's supposed to look, but we got one out of four that are good. So they clip into here and then you put the screw in and it expands those two little tabs and holds it in place. But since they're broken, I found a little solution to fix this problem without actually replacing those panels. So what I got are these little nylon inserts, basically the same thing as what's on there, except they're just not attached. So just these little square nuts and it's got the hole for the screw, obviously. Now these ones have an O-ring on them. I'm, I pull those O-rings off so it sits nice and flat on the top, but the only thing is these are a little bit wider than the actual opening in the body. So I just take a file, I just got a little square one, run that through real quick, pull the O-ring off and get it to sit in there flush. guys works like a champ holds on there nice and sturdy holds the carpet down just like factory so that's a little cheap fix if you have broken clips on your little uh, scuff panels there well guys most of the tiers back together looking really good I'm really liking that carpet how it fits you know it's not perfect it's not as good as a factory carpet fits but for the price and for being an aftermarket carpet kit, it really does fit pretty good and it looks good. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So the next thing we gotta do for the interior is find a set of seats. So I think the next video we're gonna run to the junkyard and see if we can find a set of bucket seats for this thing because I really don't like the 60-40 seats and they're just, they're tore up and everything. So I wanna get a decent set of buckets in it. So thanks for watching the video guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.